Welcome to Ask the Lawyer radio podcast with attorney Brian Figaro of the law firm Figaro & Associates. This podcast features a recording of our most recent radio show. We hope you enjoy the show, which features news, views, and interviews on matters such as immigration, personal injury, bankruptcy, divorce, family law, estate planning, wills and probate, deed transfers, civil rights, criminal defense, workers' compensation, and taxes, both individual and business. You can contact us at 855-768-8845 or visit us at www.askthelawyer.us. You have questions? We've got the answers. Good day, good day, good day. My name is Brian Figure of the law firm Figure and Associates. This is Ask the Lawyer. You got questions, we got answers. The number to call, the number to keep, the number to share is 855-768-8845. Again, 855-768-8845. Domestic violence. What is domestic violence? Whoa. Well, any type of violence in, within the household. Husband abusing wife, wife abusing a husband. They don't have to be married. They could just be living together. What are your rights? And obviously, violence against children also. So domestic violence normally takes up a lot of time in criminal court and family court. Why? Because there's a lot of it. Why do we have domestic violence? Mainly economic stress. Um, you know, happy wife, happy husband, especially when uh, both people have a job, they're making money, and all of them are fulfilling their financial responsibilities. Someone loses a job, someone doesn't want to work, that becomes a big issue. Then there's more arguments, there's more stress in the household, and people start, you know, they don't want to talk no more. They want to, like, be physical. And obviously, that is wrong. Physical violence never solves everything, anything unless you're already in prison. And then you might be the, you know, the big bad boy in prison or lady. But domestic violence not only impact the people that are abused, uh, obviously, directly, But indirectly, directly, the children or the young people in the household. Why is there a tolerance for domestic violence? Again, economic issues plays a part. But in the immigrant community, it could be, you know, one person petitioning for the other. So the one who is a U.S. citizen always, for the most part, have an attitude since I'm getting you a green card, and I say, John, you better ask me how high. And how high, obviously, is a, a serious issue. So in those situations, people need to know what their rights are. And because people do not know their rights, i.e. the Violence Against Women's Act of 1994, President Biden, a U.S. senator at the time, was one of the sponsors of that bill, one of the few things that he has done well. And that law allows, you know, at least 10,000 green cards every year to be given to people who are victims of domestic violence. So the Violence Against Women's Act, which is gender neutral, was introduced at that time. So there is no reason if you are a undocumented person here in the U.S. and your spouse is petitioning for you and you all are married or your spouse didn't petition for you and you are married, you have a bona fide relationship, there is relief for you. You do not have to be subject to physical nor mental violence. 
Some people say mental violence have a longer impact on people. And what I've seen over the years, that is obviously true. Physical violence, your body might heal, but then obviously there's the mental issues there. But mental issues is a huge issue, which is obviously, if you do not know, is an, in the increase all over the United States of America. So when we talk about domestic violence, uh, just remember that violence is not always physical. If you are a victim of domestic violence, if you are a undocumented person, we give free consultations to those people. Yes, so that we could put you on the path to legalization. You do not have to pay for that consultation. So that's how we're supposed to support victims of domestic violence at the law firm of Figure and Associates. You, got a, you are a victim, call the office, schedule a consultation, come in with whatever documents that you have, and we will give you advice as to how you resolve those issues. My name is Brian Figueroa of the law firm Figueroa and Associates. This is Ask the Lawyer. You got questions, we got answers. The number to call, the number to keep, the number to share is 855-768-8845. Again, 855-768-8845. Experience by a doctor, a carpenter, a plumber, an elected official, mayor, experience does make a difference. And at the law firm of Fragrant Associates, we have been practicing immigration law for 27 years. We have our own publication, The Immigrant's Journal, for 25 years. We have dealt with these issues at many levels. We make presentation at churches and other religious organizations. If you want us to make a presentation on any immigration issues, bankruptcy, foreclosure, saving your home, please contact us at this number, 855-768-8845, so we could come to your institution and obviously make a presentation there. Many people we have worked with over the years, most times they do not know their rights, either because obviously they didn't consult with a law firm or the legal aid society, or they met with inexperienced attorneys at these institutions. So experience does matter. A lot of people who are, we have met over the years, they met with other attorneys who said no when those attorneys should have said yes as to if there was any relief for them under the laws, whether federal or state. Again, my name is Brian Figaro of the law firm Figaro & Associates. This is Ask the Lawyer. You got questions, we got answers. The number to call, the number to keep, the number to share is 855-768-8845. Again, 855-768-8845. So when I say that experience really makes a difference, I've heard horrible stories, mostly by women, that have, you know, because they didn't know their rights, didn't have an escape. And unfortunately, obviously, in minority communities, people of color, um, it's a huge problem there. So... Sometimes what it takes is, if you're listening to this program and you know that someone is a victim of abuse, it may take you bringing that person to the office. Many, many situations, we've had people who need to come in, did come in, and they decided not to, um, you know, enforce their rights either because of religious beliefs or other 
customs that they may have in the various communities here that are international. Over a hundred or more different countries make up the fabric of New York City. And when those people come from those various countries, the women that are obviously um, treated more like a piece of property than a human being, um, they are unfortunately not willing to take the steps or discouraged to take the steps so that they could be emancipated from their problems. Again, my name is Brian Figaro of the law firm Figaro & Associates. This is Ask the Lawyer. You got questions, we got answers. Please, if you know anyone who is a, a victim of domestic violence, you may have to hold their hands and bring them to the office, and we will give that free consultation. The number to call, the number to keep, the number to share is 855-768-8845. Again, 855-768-8845. If, obviously, if you're living in another country and you listen to this program, you should let your, obviously, family know here in the U.S. that there are solutions to their problems. They just need to speak with a learned attorney. Again, the number to call, the number to keep, the number to share is 855-768-8845. Again, 855-768-8845. You could also visit our website, the Law Firm of Figure and Associates, at www.askthelawyer.us. Again, www.askthelawyer.us. You could also schedule a consultation there with a more detailed explanation as to what problem that you're having. Again, www.askthelawyer.us, www.askthelawyer.us. We'll also like to say that the various institutions out there that are de dealing with domestic violence, uh, we want to congratulate them on the work that they have done and continue to do. We know that a lot of the people working in the area of domestic violence, they actually get burnt out when they hear these horrible problems, either you know, with adults or unfortunately with children. And where, ch you know, where the issue of abuse where children is concerned, um, you know, we really, really, really need to protect our young people, please. 855-768-8845, again, 855-768-8845, or visit our website, www.askthelawyer.us, www.askthelawyer.us. We also work with the various um, district attorney offices in Kings, Queens, and, and they are very serious about this issue, and when they meet with people who are victims of violence, they really, really do have great programs to help those. Thank you. Do you have a legal issue, question, or concern? Turn to Ask the Lawyer. You have questions? We've got answers. For a consultation or to refer a client, visit www.askthelawyer.us. Again, www.askthelawyer.us. You can also register for our paralegal program, get legal news, business consults, or other information on educational issues. Yes, ask the lawyer. You have questions? We've got answers. For a consultation or to refer a client, visit www askthelawyer.us again www.askthelawyer.us